Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we're gonna figure out, or we're gonna talk about, is one of these Sonic, or Ultra Sonic cleaners worth your money. I got a carburetor off of a 601 uh, Ford tractor that's been giving us trouble. Uh, Doc's already kind of started taking it apart. We're gonna clean this thing up. So let's see if it works. So guys, so we did some research and stuff on here and there's guys on the internet that use carb dip in one of these. But this little book right here in big bold letters in here, and I don't know if I can find it quick enough to make this timely or not, but it says in here, yeah, there it is. With a little, with a little red triangle, do not use anything flammable. And, uh, Last time I checked, carb dip was flammable, and I really don't want to burn down the shop. That's going to make it rough for me and the wizard. So let's not do that. Um, but so I did a bunch of reading, and a bunch of guys recommend using uh, using Simple Green. So we got a big old jug of Simple Green. We're going to try it out, see how it works. I'm going to run this for quite a long time. So it'll be today we'll do this, and then tomorrow we'll come in. Me and Doc will give you this film the second part and see how this thing worked if this gets this carburetor cleaned up or not so i'm going to step out of doc's way because he's looking at me like move please i got work to do and uh let him get that carburetor taken apart and uh we'll go from there Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying the video. Thanks for tuning in to our episode. Uh, so Dave and I were talking about taking a road trip and we decided we'd love to meet you all. What we're looking for is um, submissions to an email address that is crazydequipment at gmail.com. In the submissions, we want to know, of course, your name, your contact information, um, a little bit about your family's history, your family farm history, the type of equipment that you have. Um, send us some pictures also. Uh, we'll go through the responses and pick a place to go. Uh, we're really looking forward to taking a little bit of time off and some vacation and getting to meet the people that make up the channels, what we're looking forward to doing. So again, you'll send those emails to crazydequipment at gmail.com excuse me, they'll include your name, contact information, um, a history on your family's farm. We're willing to travel anywhere that we can drive to, so keep that in mind. Sorry folks across the seas, we'd love to meet you, but that's not in the plans for now. Um, enjoy our videos, tune in, and we'll have more to come. Thanks again. Okay guys, so Doc's got the carburetor part, and we'll show you the inside of it. See, there's a lot of rust down in here, and uh, it's not like gummed up with old fuel, but this carburetor was definitely giving us an issue. So, Doc's gonna put everything that needs to go into the basket. I'm not 100% for sure if we need to tear it down more than that or what we need to do. So, I mean, we're kind of, this is, this honestly is the first time we've used it, so. Yeah. What else do you put? Do you need to put this in here? I did a, no. Okay. No, I don't want to take any chances. Accidentally. 
actually ruin that? Yeah. Okay, so I guess set that down in there. And here's your jug. You can pour that in there, fill it up past the carburetor. It doesn't have a fill line, does it? Mm-mm. Yeah. I'll have to get... Oh my God, how much is that gonna hold? I'm not sure, what is the book? Well, the book doesn't exactly say anything on that. I was reading that earlier. It, is, it says you should submerge, submerge your item. So, you might have to buy another jug of. Yeah. Replace this one. Put it in there. That looks good. Should be submerged. So we got to go a little way to see it. I think I just ordered that. I ordered that off of Amazon. I'll just order another one. There. That did it. Okay. Okay. It's already. <laughs> already got guns coming off of it. Okay. So, all right. So the items, it's submerged. So, all right, guys. Now I'm going to stop this before we start it because it's. Well, I was told that it will mess up the camera. So, Doc. You want to s turn the switch on in the back and all right guys when i come when we see you again we'll be after we have run this thing for i think 12 hours is what it's recommended for something like that so see you in 12 hours all right guys so the first thing i have to tell you when i said see you in 12 hours was total poppycock um when we went to set the machine, it only goes up to 30 minutes. So we did it for the full 30 minutes. So we'll see if that's enough. If not, we'll run it for longer. But I believe that that's what it's supposed to be. So it has ended. It is quite warm. This uh, simple green is some, as Daniel put it, some bad soup. So it definitely did something. Pull the basket out. I think I can handle this. Oh, guys. So, okay, I'm gonna bring this in closer. So guys, when we pointed out earlier, all the rust in the bottom, it's gone, the rust is gone. There are still a little bit of gasket stuff that's on here, but the rust on the side of the carburetor in places is gone so i might run this for a little bit longer but this is definitely working and it looks looks really good so i'm going to run this longer but i'm going to say if you want to invest um, the money into one of these i'm going to highly recommend it um, it's it seems to be doing doing huh, look at this so that carburetor under all the gunk and rust you can see at one point it was green and that's not from the simple green that's paint but it's yeah it's definitely working it's definitely working so um, this one cost me 500 bucks I want to say it's definitely worth it because I, mean, I can use this over and over and over and over and over again and how much money would I spent on carb dip and da 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 for the mini carburetors I do so if you got uh, antique tractors and you play with them you can get a smaller one for cheaper I seen them as low as 80 bucks I'm gonna say it's worth the money buy one so yeah it definitely seems to be working but we're gonna go ahead and run this again for longer for another 30 minutes and uh, I will check this later so guys yeah 
but anyways thanks for coming in thanks for watching and uh we'll see you guys later